So you're trying to upload a video to Instagram or TikTok, and for some reason, every time you upload it, it looks like this. Blurry, sound quality is not great, just not good quality. I'm gonna show you all how to fix that in a computer all the way to your phone so it can look like this and pretty much get you the results you were hoping for from the beginning. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so you finally got your video completed. It's in the software. Now we need to export it from here, get it to your phone so you can upload. So let's go into Adobe Premiere. All right, so for this video, I actually captured this horizontal um, and I was able to make it vertical uh, through the software. And I'll show you all how I did that real quick. So in Premiere, you wanna come up to Sequence, Sequence Settings. So right under Video tab, you wanna come over to Frame Size and you just wanna make sure these numbers here are set so that you're gonna come up with a vertical video, nine by 16. So for example, you could do 1080 on a horizontal and then for the vertical, you could do 1920. But I'm gonna keep mine at the 4K resolution because why not have that extra wiggle room and quality, right? So going back to the timeline, your orientation will be a little off. You can come up here to the rotation tab, hit 90. Now your video is vertical and you can just change your scale and position options if you need to make some extra adjustments. All right, so once we have our video here, we can go ahead and hit Command or Control M. It's gonna send us to the exporting page. And this is where things can look a little complicated, but I'm gonna make it super simple and easy for you all. So you wanna open up the video tab and hit Match Source. Matching the source is gonna match that vertical timeline that you had, and you're gonna be ready to go for the export. Come down to more, render at max depth, use maximum render quality. All right, and sliding down to our bitrate settings, we wanna make sure that target bitrate is set to 30, and that's pretty much gonna be it for the video. No need to go to the audio tab. The default settings should be exactly what you need for this upload. Make sure your file name and location is where you want it to go, and hit export. All right, and I know there's a lot of DaVinci users out there, so I wanna actually show you real quick how to do those same things in DaVinci. If the video is not vertical in DaVinci, you wanna come over to your media pool in the edit tab, find your timeline here, right click it, go to timeline, timeline settings, uncheck use project settings, and check here where it says use vertical resolution. All right, so just like we did in Adobe, we're gonna go ahead and change our rotation and our zoom and positioning, and I'll show you all how to export after. All right, and once you have that video looking exactly how you want to vertically, let's go into the export tab. Depending on the platform you're using, DaVinci does make it easy to upload to that platform. But for me personally, I always like to go to YouTube and make sure we hit the 2160p setting. That way when we upload, we got a little bit more quality for Instagram and TikTok to use. Simple enough, since we're using the same setting on our timeline, we don't have to worry about changing anything here as far as the frame rate or format. Make sure you select your file name and a location for it to go. Add some render queue and render all. All right, so you finally got your video exported with all the perfect settings. Now we need to get this video on our devices and the most important detail is next, setting those things on Instagram and TikTok so that we can get max quality for our uploads. I appreciate you all watching this far. Definitely make sure to subscribe, comment, show some love, leave a like. And if you have any questions about the uploading process on DaVinci or Adobe, send me a DM, you can follow me on Instagram and I'll hit you back and we can, we can figure this thing out together. All right, so if you're working on an Apple computer and you have an iPhone, this step is gonna be pretty easy for you. I find the simplest way to do it is to find your video, right click or double click, hit share, and you wanna set the airdrop option to go straight to your phone, save it to your camera roll, upload from there. All right, so let's say there's a connection problem with your iPhone or your computer, or let's say you have an Android and you don't have airdrop. No worries, I got you guys covered. So you can upload to a website and get this link to your phone, and that's gonna be the easiest way. How we're gonna do that, go to wetransfer.com, over here in these three tabs, you can hit get transfer link. So from there, it's gonna be a simple drag and drop, and then just hit get a link. Depending on your Wi-Fi connection, this could take minutes or seconds, but it shouldn't take long at all. Once this is uploaded, you can copy that link, send it to yourself, email, text, then download it to your phone from there, and then you'll have the video. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, right? Okay, so we got our phones. I'm screen recording right now. All right, so once we have Instagram open, we want to get into our settings. You want to hit the top right tab, go down to settings and privacy. From there, you want to scroll down to your app and media and hit media quality. And you want to select upload at highest quality. This is definitely a slept on feature that's going to make sure you get the best quality from the videos that you've created. And then from there, you just want to go to your page, upload the video that you saved to your phone. We can hit next here. Now me personally, I like the video to run through in its entirety. Um, if it's a minute, a little over a minute, a little less. I'm not sure if this does anything, but I have realized letting it play through does make for a smoother upload. You edit your cover, tag people, do all the things, and then share. And that's pretty much how you're gonna get that high quality upload on Instagram.
So unlike Instagram with TikTok, you don't need to go in your settings and adjust anything. All the settings are gonna be adjusted within the upload tab. So let's go ahead and get into it. Select the video that we wanna upload, make any additional changes here, hit next. And this is the part that's easy to overlook. You wanna scroll down to where it says more options, manage quality. And when you come down to here, you wanna hit allow high quality uploads. I have it already on, but that's the button that you wanna click. And then from there, you just add your captions, do your thing, upload your video, and voila, high quality videos on Instagram and TikTok. So quick recap, we wanna make sure we're exporting at the right settings with Adobe DaVinci, CapCut, whatever you're using. Once you get that video on your phone, the way you want it to be edited, we wanna make sure we change those settings in Instagram. By going to the settings tab, we wanna make sure we change the settings in TikTok before we actually hit the share button to upload our video. And you all got it, as easy as that. I hope this was helpful. If you did find some value in this video, please comment, subscribe, hit the like. Helps the algorithm and all those things, plus it's free. So I would really appreciate it if you did. Follow me on Instagram, at Director Lou. If you guys have any questions or concerns, shoot me a DM. I will make sure to respond, help you out wherever I can. And yeah, until next time, y'all drink some water, and I'ma highlight y'all.